Hey folks, Sotor Basharov here, uh, joining you again from the Azure Government Engineering Team. So if you recall, this is our second video from a series that we've been doing about how to get you set up as a CSP. In our previous video, we talked about you know setting up your account, creating your first customer. Now we're going to talk about a few of the key features that Partner Center has in store for us. So the customer tab is something that we already touched upon, and it's fairly, fairly important. But what else is there here relevant for us to review? So let's go into the Cell tab. Cell tab is fairly important because here is where you're going to be spending a lot of time answering customer quotes as, as well as other scenarios. So uh, when you expand the sell, the sell button, you will see pricing and offers. Pricing and offers, you will see uh, two very important things. So first of it, you will see the, our, our prices. So every month we publish a price list with all the SKUs. This is the source of truth. This is where all of the uh, prices for each and every single SKU is out there and you will be able to, to review it use it for quotes, use it for anything that you may need it. And then also you have a link to the Azure services uh, in CSP pricing calculator. So a lot of you are probably familiar with our with our pricing calculator that's out there. That's from our for our uh, pay as you go or web direct scenarios. But you as a CSP have specific special benefits. So make sure to review the pricing calculator for CSP. Remember to log in with your CSP account. You need to make sure that you're with with your CSP uh, account, you're logging into it. So for example, if I open this guy, I'll open it in a new, in a new tab, uh, it's going to ask me to, to log in. I'll, I'll do that. And once you log in, you will know that you're logged in as, as, that, as that account. Uh, and you will, ha you will see one, one additional feature that usually you wouldn't see if you're using your, your, your non-TSP account. And I'll show you what that looks like. So I've selected a virtual machine, for example, to, con to configure. And you have you will have a couple of scenarios to select from. If you if you scroll all the way down to the calculator, you will see a drop down here that tells you whether you want the the online services program, which is our pay as you go, or if you want your cloud solution provider. Uh, if you select cloud solution provider, things are going to change. So just uh, wait for this to load. You will notice a little. Um, you will notice a little change here on the right that says, hey, cloud solution provider pricing has been applied. So, has been provide, uh, applied. so make sure to, to follow this tip. It's something fairly, fairly good for you as you work on building all these estimates. So keep that in mind. Now, let's go back to, to our, to our um, partner center. So we talked a little bit about the calculator. I showed you where the price list is. And there's a couple of other documents that may be relevant to you. We have a self-serve letter of authorization that is also located here. If you need it, uh, you can download it and use it for uh, you know, different applications that the federal government may have for you. Promotions and catalog, all these things will be showing you uh, the latest news and all the different things that we'll be uh, sharing with partners. But this time, for this particular guy, there's no promotions, but make sure to, to check in, in, in often, right? Um, support tab is where you will monitor every customer request that you open. So when you open a ticket with the Azure um, support all up, all of this will show up here. And you will be able to you know, keep track of closed uh, service requests, of open service requests. Uh, you, will, you will be able to filter them by customer and so on. Now, billing is one other very important tab that you will really care about. So let's go into the billing and see what that has in store for us. Given that this tenant has already had some usage, you can definitely see uh, you know, a few of the benefits of this billing tab. Now, uh, you, you see a couple of things. You will find your balance, your three months or six months, or let's say a 12 month rolling average of how this guy has been spending. And there's very, a few important documents here for you to keep in mind. There is your invoice. This is a one a view of an all up invoice that you get on a monthly basis. Uh, so if you are, you know, in this case, my company is called, you know, CSPGA. CSPGA is going to get uh, a, a monthly invoice of, in this case, $11,000. Um, but how do I know which customer of mine spend that? So this is where you go into the usage-based CSV. So you can do this via the CSV or also Partner Center has a rich set of APIs that you can leverage from the documentation to pull that usage as you need it. The CSV is, is a file that if you, if you open it up, it's a big Excel that will allow you to drill down to a customer level, subscription level, 
uh, resource group level, even to every single VM that you need to review. So make sure to check it out. This will allow you to build your reporting and build any additional um, data that you need to work and invoice your customers. You will also be able to see here some of the history. If I expand each one of these tabs, I can see for every month my different uh, invoice as well as my, my, my data behind it. Now, one last thing that I'll uh, cover in this specific scenario that's related to billing and a few of the, of the uh, areas here, I'll go to my customers and I'll select one of my customers uh, just to go into a little bit uh, more detail. So I select, I'll select Contoso. And I don't know if Contoso has done uh, you know, any usage or not, but I know that they have a couple of subscriptions. So Contoso actually has done some spend. They have spent $13. They've done some, some things right there. Uh, so they have two subscriptions right now. I can add more subscriptions here if I wanted to. I can get some customer insights of them as they have more usage. And when license-based services become available in CSP for government, you will be able to manage those here. Now, one of the things that I want to call out here is our, our budget. So this allows you to set up a budget for your customer. I've set up a 1,000 monthly budget for them. I'll click apply. You can change it. And what happens is when they reach 80, 90, and 100% of their budget, uh, you will get a, an email and you will be able to alert them. Keep in mind that this is a soft budget. It's not something that will cancel or, or, or you know, put on hold any usage or subscription. So don't worry about that, but do make sure to monitor it often to, to make sure that your customers are, are you know, not exceeding their budget. So with that, we'll come to a wrap about some of the key areas that you need to keep in mind of the partner center. And again, make sure to tune in for some more videos and keep us posted if you have any questions. Thank you.